All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 2. All right, so this has a bad battery. Um, we're going to be using a JS1 screwdriver to remove our, or undo all the screws from the bottom. The screws actually stay in place. There's a little battery reset hole down here. So if for some reason your laptop isn't turning on, you can first try using like a SIM eject tool or a folded out paper clip or a pin to press and hold that button for about 15 seconds. A lot of times that will help um, get it to turn back on, right? If this video helps you out, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or impair their device as well. As you can see, pulling this up is pretty easy, um, but yeah. Um, if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, anyways, you got the battery in here. This is just going to be a quick video. RAM is soldered to the motherboard. CPU is under here, soldered to the motherboard. There's the heat sink. If you take this out, you do need to redo the thermal paste. Fan is attached to there, but there are removable screws, I'm sure. Uh, let's see, there's a little board here. This is going to be a super quick video. This is the uh, fingerprint sensor board as well as the power button. And it looks like they plug into the computer up here. Interesting. Or actually, huh. The screen cables and all of that look to uh, plug all to here. There's another screen cable here. Um, so one handles like the webcam and microphones and stuff usually, and the other one's for the screen. I'm not sure exactly which one. It's M.2, PCIe, MVME, SSD here. Wireless card here, antennas, they come out by pulling up on the tails. There's the little reset button that you can see now that we took off the cover. Um, this I'm pretty sure is, oh, that's the, is that the CMOS? Yeah, CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery. We'll see that when we remove the actual battery. Um, you got this cable here with these little flip latches, um, that connect this USB port here. Um, what else? Uh, and I think that's pretty much about it. Everything else is soldered to the motherboard. Let's remove the battery and then we will, um, take a look what's underneath. So there's all these J, um, JIS1 or J1 screws that we need to remove. All right, so we'll remove all of these. And I got lots of customers here waiting at the same time, so I'm gonna try and do this. That's why I'm doing this so quick, okay? So if people are wondering when I don't record how quick I can do these things, um, it's actually much quicker. And also, even with that, I had to point out a bunch of stuff, so that kind of wasted some time. Uh, let's see, are there, do I need to unroute these? No, it looks like a different separate plastic piece. Yep, especially looking at the battery. Um, so here we go. If you're wondering how to disconnect this battery, this battery connector is a little bit strange. So if you look at this, um, you're probably like wondering how do you get this out? And the way you do that is you go from the front here, you pop that up. Once you pop that, you can actually slide this. You can see how it wiggles. Okay, and then you can slide it back onto itself to basically bend these wires more. And then when you do that, if I remember correctly, you should be able to pop it out. Or actually, do you need to slide it forward? I forget. <laughs> okay, you slide it forward. Sorry, it hooks in and goes in that way, so you have to slide it forward to get it out. All right, anyways, there's the battery. All right. Okay, this isn't a very common battery connection design, so yeah. And I don't know, this battery looks okay, so I don't know what would have killed it. Maybe they left it drained to zero too long. Anyways, you can see touchpad, trackpad, button he or connector here. Um, this connector, I have no idea where that's going, but this is the keyboard one for sure. Um, JTP2, JCP1, what? Click pad, touch pad, what? <laughs> um, I'm guessing this is for the buttons. I am not sure. Um, but anyways, we're not going to mess around with that. Um, this keyboard does appear to be held in place with little screws. So if you do need to replace the keyboard, it looks like you can take everything out and then undo the screws. Anyways, we're just here for the battery. This is the replacement. It's, as you can see, aftermarket. They covered the Lenovo logo, if there even was a Lenovo logo on it. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get these screws back in. Okay. And yeah, this connector, we'll have to slide it back in like before. I'll do a close up so you can kind of see how that works. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna plug it in, make sure everything's working and we should be good to go. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. I know it was a very quick video. Um, if I didn't mention already, this is the RAM soldered to the motherboard. I think I probably, probably already did. So the only thing you can upgrade is the SSD. Um, and yeah, not really much else. You can change the battery. You can change the wireless card if it breaks or something a lot of times. Oh, and then of course that was the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery, the little yellow one that, um, I kind of <laughs> didn't go over after I took out the battery. Sorry about that. 
But uh, yeah, again, like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can help out that way, it helps a lot to watch my other videos, like, comment on them, and yeah. All right, so this one, you gotta get that into the little groove in the center, slide it, hook it in, and then click that down. All right, and there we go. Battery is reconnected. Let's go ahead and see if it powers on. I'm not 100% sure it will power on until we plug it in, but let's try. And actually it is powering up, so the power light is on and we should be getting screen soon unless something else is wrong with this computer. Oh, there you go. And what did it say? Critical something. And then it just shut off. Was it saying the battery's critically low? Is that what happened? All right, I guess I'll get the customer to plug it in and then we'll test it out. But I think it should be good. I think it was probably saying the battery was really low. Anyways, we hook this bottom. Oops, let me zoom out a little. So first to put this back, you gotta hook that in and then you lower this down. Once you do that, we'll twist this backwards, click it and then tighten it down. So I always like to twist the screws backwards to hear it click to make sure it goes back in the right spot because sometimes if you don't, the, crook the screws can go in crooked and then it can damage the uh, screw mounts. All right, but anyways, we'll tighten that down and then let me call my customer over, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Let's drop this back.